Hi, today we're looking at exercise after DBS surgery. Welcome to Parkinson's Wellness Wednesdays. My name's Alison and I'm an exercise physiologist with Parkinson's New South Wales. I've come across some people who are living with Parkinson's who hesitate to exercise following DBS surgery. Here are some general guidelines for what activities you can do following DBS surgery. For the first two weeks, you shouldn't be doing anything, even light activities of like gentle housework, and don't lift anything heavier than around about 2.5 kilos. Really take care of yourself. After the six weeks, heavy activities um, can be done, but really up until the six week, six week mark, you want to avoid jogging, swimming, exercise classes, and any heavy lifting. Once you've reached that six week mark, you need to be careful if you're lifting something up high above your shoulders and don't bend your neck into too far a, a, an extreme position as this can affect the wires in your neck. Depending on the type of work you do, most people can return to work or their regular lifestyles after about six weeks. After this recovery time, this six-week recovery time, the general safety recommendations are Avoid contact sports. So you've got to give up rugby. Avoid roller coasters or any fast accelerated ri acceleration rides. Don't go bungee jumping, skydiving or any other extreme sports. Always wear a seatbelt in a car and wear a helmet if you're riding a bike, a motorbike, horse riding or skiing. Generally, there are no exercise limits for, for regular exercise following DBS surgery. You can go running, walking, swimming, tennis, etc. It's up to you how each person feels and they should speak with their surgeon for any specific exercise contraindications. Otherwise, there's nothing stopping you getting back into exercise to better manage those Parkinson's symptoms. Today's exercise is called balancing wand. The balance exercise can be formed while you're seated or standing for a bit more challenge. You'll need a cane or a stick of some kind a broomstick works well, just remove the broom's head before you start. Even a rolling pin maybe is another option. Hold the end of the stick into the palm of your hand and the goal of this exercise is to keep the stick upright as long as possible. So we're trying to balance, as you can see, I need a lot of extra work. Whee! So try not to hit anyone in the head with it. Change hands so of course you're using both sides of your body. This helps your fine motor skill, your cognitive and your general balance because, of course, you have to hold your body still. These exercises aren't intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical diagnosis or treatment. Please consult your own health professional team before engaging in online fitness programs. Type any questions you have into the comments section. If you prefer not to write in the comments, please send us a private message through Messenger or call our info line on one 644 189. Thanks for watching. Keep well and I'll see you next Wednesday.